What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how this one bullish engulfing candlestick pattern made me, bam, $890 or 161% return overnight, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys exactly my thought process, my entry exit of this particular trade that I made. I got into this trade yesterday and there you go. I posted it in my all access Patreon. Yep, 23 hours ago, I got into it yesterday towards the market close and got out of it right at the market open today, right? About five hours ago. So yeah, it was a great trade, returned a good amount of money. And the cool thing was, check this out, bought it for 55, sold it for 144 contract, made that much. But my I had my stop loss set on this too. So I actually, for 10 contracts, I bought them for 550, but my risk was only half of that, right? So I only had 275 at risk out of the 550 and on $275 to make 890, I'll take that all day, every day. So let's get into this. Um, all right, so first things first, let's get this video to a thousand likes if we can, okay? If you guys like me making these videos about my trade breakdowns and stuff like that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and all of that fun stuff, okay? So I've been watching Pinterest for a while and the indicators, of course, that I'm using on this are the Lux Algo Premium indicators. I use the Lux Algo Oscillator on this one and the price action concepts. Uh, if you guys want to check it out risk-free, I've got a link to it in the description below. All right, so check out Lux Algo. Um, I, was, I was watching this for a while. You know, it was on a downward trend. There was a change of character right here. Then there, then there was a break of structure. They're still heading down. And, you know, you, I could see the stochastics on the oscillator and like, yeah, it's still going down. It went into oversold territory looking for a bounce, which is great. And it kind of gave this signal right here too that it's gonna start bouncing back. It did that. I'm still watching because a lot of these patterns, I want them to form, right? And then, you know, negative day, negative day, and then yesterday. And I think Reddit had a lot to do with this too because any when, when an online company like that just takes off, other stocks kind of follow too, right? So I went like, let's jump on that. When I saw this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, and look at how wide that is, right? If we look at that, zoom in a little bit, right? It it took both of the previous two days' bodies, right? Big body, it was great. So when I got in, it was towards the end of the day, but I broke it down with on the five minute and the three, three minute chart, okay? that's That's when I was looking to get in. So I looked at the bigger picture, came down to the five minute. And let's get back here. This is right around where I got in. It, it already had quite a bit of an up day. And I wanted to see the momentum carry through. And I wanted to see where the stock for Pinterest would end up at the end of the day. So when I saw this momentum coming right here, money flow, there was excessive money flow to the positive side, which is a good thing. Because when that, you know, when that's a very, very bullish indicator, right? When there's extra money coming into a particular stock. So I watched till this candle closed. This is where I got in. Okay. Start of this candle is where I got in and there was some indecision and then it went down a little bit. Okay. Which was perfectly fine. And that's the reason why I decided on a strike, which was a week later on, right? Um, well, two weeks, because this it, one week would have been this weekend and then next weekend, right? So I, I, bought an, I bought an expiration date that was an extra week out. I don't do it for the same week's expiration because I wanted to give it some time because I had a feeling when a, such a bullish candle happens on the one day chart, it usually follows through the next day, okay? Well, and it's a high probability trade. You never know what the market is going to do. None of us can control any of that stuff. But at the same time, we can make those educated guesses, right? And what what this signaled to me was, you know, hopefully there should be some continuation. So it did. It was great. Woke up this morning, you know, market open. Boom, it was up. I got out of this like just a couple of minutes into the market open. And the reason why I got out is what I'm going to show you next. 
So this is the five minute chart. A lot of the short term trading that I do, I do on the three minute and the five minute. So I opened up the, the three minute chart on this. And this is what I saw when the market opened. Right, boom, it went up and it went up and it started coming down. There was a lot of seller selling pressure, a lot of selling pressure. So that's why I got out towards the end of this candle. So on the three minute mark. So I think I got out right at 8, 8.32 Central Standard Time, so 9.32 Eastern, right? So two minutes after the market opened because I was watching the price actually. It was going up, I would have held on. As soon as I saw that, I locked in my profits, I got out. And then, yeah, it went up a little bit and then look at that decline. If you look at this, it had, I am so glad I got out when I did after watching this, this bearish candlestick pattern, right? And it just started going down. It just started going down. So, you know, that's basically what the trade was. And the other thing, the other thing, right, that also confirmed that, yeah, it's, it's a good time to get out is when I look at the five minute chart, when I look at the five minute chart, at the end of this candlestick too, the extra money flow ended, right? The extra money flow ended. The, the excess money that was coming into Pinterest, right? Towards the end of the day yesterday, it had disappeared. And the money, money flow was, the positive money flow was declining. So I'm glad that I pulled the trigger right there when I did looking at the three minute chart, locked in a decent amount of profit. I was super happy with the trade. And yeah, I posted in my all access Patreon when I got into this trade, what my price was, where I had my stop loss set, and then also when I got out. So if you guys want these real time alerts of trades that I'm actually making, plus weekly watch lists, a chat, chat room for all my members, along with a lot of educational resources, make sure you click on the link in the description below and join my all access Patreon. And if you guys want to check out the Lux Algo Premium Indicator, which shows you all where all the change of characters are, break of support, thing, break of structures, things like that. That's what I use for all of my trading. I love it. It's trusted by over 50,000 subscribers and it works. It's it's for trading view. OK, and if you don't have a trading view account, you can get one for free. I've got a link to trading in the description below as well. And I just dropped my phone. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one.